Let's say hello and good afternoon to Sanjeev Basin and our first query is on Z Entertainment. Wallet 307 have been holding the stock for three years. That's coming from Jojo Thomas of, from Kerala. Now, Basin, sahab, just a coincidence. We were talking about Z. Ke now, there is an event risk in Z. Uh, how should one approach a stock where there is an event risk? Yeah, good afternoon. Nikunja, I think the event risk is uh, very marginal because we know that Sony is uh, very keen on increasing its stake. It has already categorically passed a resolution that their biggest market is going to be India. And uh, it's just a matter of time. Now, we know that with 3% stake, the Goinkas have held uh, not only the equity holders, but all the debt holders and the rest to ransom. And I think this will good riddance to bad rubbish as soon as it happens. Please stay put. This stock can be a doubler from here if you have a two-year vision. If you have sat for three years, the next two years, you will double your money. So stay put with Z. Stay put with Z. Of course, uh, you know, Basin Sahib feels that the event risk in Z is something which can be ignored actually. And just think about it. I mean, there is a massive consolidation happening in the India media, media sector. And at a time when, you know, the franchise is growing, media inflation is coming back. But since I feel that it may just be a great idea to stay there. The second query is coming on uh, Geo Financial Services. Is it a better is it better to invest in newly listed companies like Geo Financial Services or stick to established NBFCs like Sundaram Finance for a duration of two to three years? That's again coming from Kerala. So viewers are watching our show in Kerala. Thank you very much for that. Uh, that's coming from Satyan. Uh, you know, Basinta, I'm just discussing and you know a theme with you. You know, Sundaram Finance has got years and years of growth, they manage crisis, they don't dilute and it's compared to almost like gold in Kerala. Sona and Sundam Finance stock, it's weighed in same thing. Geo Financial, high tech, new tech comes from the halves of Reliance, market cap of 1,50,000 crore but is still not making money. It's a difficult choice. Go for uh, a, go for a well-established, fantastically run NBFC or go for Geo, which is a promise on technology and a promise on spread and reach? So go half-half. Because you are in, uh, investing in a proven uh, franchise of Sundaram, which has been, uh, you know, a class outperformer. But you are also investing in the largest market cap uh, in India in a group. And where the conglomerate is now looking at uh, technology and fintech and uh, co-lending as a very big source. And they are putting all their money where their mouth is with Blackstone and others. So pedigree, business outlook, profitability will take time. But two years, it could be a very, very sweet outperformer and a, and a good holding in your portfolio. So 50-50 for both. But if you have to make it 60-40 then? Yes, 60-40 will also do. <laughs> no, 60 kaunsa, 10 jada kiska? 60, uh, I will go with Sundaram, ke saath, 40 with Reliance. Okay. Where do you think the stock of Sundaram could move in next three years? So, we can see pedigree stocks, pedigree businesses are doing well and the growth in India is more in the mid-tier and SME market. And Sundaram is a class outperformer with a very, very strong franchise and brand. So, I think uh, both those stocks can give you 50% upside and uh, I would not be surprised Sundaram even beats that 50% by more. Next query, and you know, we're getting a lot of queries on uh, PSUs now. There was a time when we had stopped getting queries on PSUs. Whether it is sale or PNB, two very differentiated stocks. Can I invest in sale or PNB for the short term? I want to put in 50,000 rupees in a stock. It's coming from KBS Bala Subramanian from Hyderabad. KBS, thank you very much for that question. Now, uh, sale and PNB, Basin Saab, they have only one thing in common. They both are owned by government of India, but nothing in common apart from that. Correct. But PNB has been a class outperformer from those 35, 40 levels. It has hit 90 today. Uh, I still think it trades at less than one time price to book, but a large part of the rally is already built in. Good bond yields, good management by in the shape of Mr. Goel, all are taking place and their recovery process is very strong. So, I would uh, suggest a PSU, nahi, but I would suggest a private bank like an ICIC or Kotak. I think that has more room for upside and I would go with sale. I think sale has just broken out and sale has languished for the last two years. Uh, so, Nikunj, I think sale is headed to 150. Uh, given that it is the largest exporter and I think that is adding to their uh, margins, this quarter results will be very, very stark. 
and uh, we think uh, steel prices on the back of a weaker dollar will definitely do well is it a better idea to look at sale or jsw steel which frankly is a better cost producer and has higher efficiency yes i would go so buy a basket by jsw by tata steel and sale spread your risk in three but since you are keen on sale add it what so what should be the split of 50000 rupees put 14 15000 in each three stocks sale jsw and then go for uh, uh, you know essentially uh, pnb pnb and spread it in four tranches sale jsw pnb and kotak bank you will have a very good mix of 12 and a half thousand of all four now understand that with seal there is a cycle at play with banks also there is a cycle at play uh, if china comes back next to the steel cycle could be very different economy is prospering and pnb balance sheets have uh, you know is is better and much leaner so things in the short term for pnb will also do better and please remember bond deals globally have picked out locally they will also pick out which means that for next coming quarter the m2m gains at least for some of the oil market uh, for some of the banks i think are likely to surprise us on the upside so thank you very much for sending that query and thank you very much for watching the show markets as well as we speak it's uh, you know another dream day just word from the word go good gap up start and then really a lift off from there i think it's almost pushed the market to the highest point of it